At 8 o'clock in the morning, British summertime, on August 13th, 1964, Peter Anthony Allen and Gwyn Owen Evans would meet their demise. Led from their cells, the noose was quickly hung around their necks. Peter was 24 years old, and Gwyn was 21. The two had a history of petty crime. The duo was convicted of murdering John Allen West. John drove for a laundry company and was bludgeoned and stabbed to death at his home in Cumbria, a town in northwest England, on April 7, 1964. Peter and Gwyn drove to John's house in a car stolen from Preston, Lancashire, and Gwyn knew John and knew he lived alone after his mother's death. Gwyn and Peter wanted to pay a court debt. Police found Gwyn's jacket hanging on John's banister, which led the police to the culprits within two days of the crime. Both Peter and Gwyn blamed the other for the crime, but both were found guilty and executed. The two didn't know it, but they were the last two people to be judicially executed in the United Kingdom. An act named the Murder, Abolition of Death Penalty Act 1965 was put into royal assent on the 8th of November 1965 and into commencement on November 9th, 1965. If their execution was delayed by mere weeks, it likely would not have occurred. Here is some bonus, less relevant information about the murderers' lives beforehand. Gwyn was born in Maryport, Cumberland on April 1st, 1940, with the name John Robson Walby. He had various jobs between the ages of 15 and when he met his demise. He faced charges of larceny for stealing money, followed by charges for driving without a license and using a license with intent to deceive. Evans then moved to Preston, Lancashire, met Peter Allen and his wife, and started committing crimes with Peter. Peter was born at Wallasey, Cheshire on April 4th, 1943. He too went through several jobs between the ages of 15, when he also dropped out of school, and when he met his demise. On November 11th, 1961, Peter married Mary, who was a cinema usherette. They had a Catholic wedding and moved to Manchester. The two failed to cover up their license plate after committing a crime, which led to their arrest and fines of £10. The robbery of John Allen West was intended to provide the necessary money to pay for the fines. In the summer of 2017, medical reports released by the National Archives indicated that Gwen Evans had serious psychological problems, which, if his defense team had presented at the trial, could have led to his escaping of the execution.